Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series and in this video I'm going to talk about grouped bar charts and this is going to be tutorial number four for matplotlib. In the previous video I talked about stacked bar charts and basically if you want to see how a larger category is divided into smaller categories and what the relationship of each part has on the total amount, you will be using a stacked bar chart. But sometimes we are more interested in comparing between each segment in the categories and comparing segments across categories. Uh, then the total of each group and the part to whole relationship. In this case, we might want to use a group bar chart. So let's see an example. We're going to use the same example as we used in the previous video, in which we have the Rio 2016 Summer Olympics medal table for the top five countries. So here we see that we have the USA, the GBR, China, Russia, and Germany. And we also have a list of the number of gold, silver, and bronze each country has won. So we want to use a grouped bar chart to show the data because now we are more interested in comparing the different medals in the same country than comparing the same medals across different countries and comparing the same medals across different countries. So let's see how we could do this. So in our code, we want to first import our matplotlib and dot pyplot as plt. Oops, that's plt. Um, and we also want to import numpy as mp. So first we um, import the matplotlib submodule, which is pyplot, and the numpy module. And we're going to be using a numpy array in this plot. So now let's add in our data. So put data lists. And we're going to have a list of countries. And this is equal to USA, uh, GBR, China, Russia, oops, Russia, and Germany. And of course, we want to have the number of gold medals that each country has won. So in this order, 46, 27, 26, 26, 19, 17. We want to have the number of silvers, 37, 23, 18, 18, oops, 18, 18, 10. And the number of bronze, and this is 38 for USA then 17, then 26, then 19, then 15. So now we're going to create the label locations using a numpy array. So we're going to have an x is equal to numpy.arrange uh, length of countries. And this will give um, us a numpy array of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now our width is equal to 0. 0.2. And that's the width of each bar. So now let's make the plot. For each country, we will have three bars representing the gold, silver, and bronze medals, respectively. And the silver medal bar is going to be in the middle with the gold on the left and the bronze on the right. And so let's draw the silver uh, medal bars first because they are in the center and the locations uh, match the numbers in the array. So we want to have a fig and an x, and this is equal to plt dot subplots, and p2 is equal to x dot bar x silver and the width. And so if I run this, oops, let's see. Oh, it should be a range. But show. Okay, so now we have our figure with basically five um, different labels starting at zero to four. And we see that this is representing the number of silvers for each country. And so now let's draw our gold and bronze metal bars. And to do that, we need to find the center locations of each bar. And this is an easy geometry skill. We can easily find the answer by making a simple sketch. And from the sketched image, we can see that if the position of the middle bar is x, then the position of the bar to its left is x minus the width, and to its right is x plus the width. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to create P2, P1, which represents gold, and this is the axis of the bar. 
x minus the width of gold, and the width is the width. And we're going to create p3 is equal to x dot bar, x plus width, bronze, with the width as the width. Okay, so now we see that we have our gold as a blue, silver as orange, and we have our bronze as the green. And now uh, we see that we have three different metals all corresponding to a single country. Except now we want to label our countries instead of just numbers. And in order to label it, so let's say zero once represents the US, we can instead, or we can add in this line, which is dot x ticks x countries. And this will replace all the numbers down here with the corresponding countries in this country's list. So the first is USA, then GBR, then China, then Russia, and lastly, Germany. Now let's also add a legend, because without a legend, um, we wouldn't really know which bars represents which metals. So what does, if I just show this to someone else, what does this green bar mean? What does this blue bar mean? What does this orange bar mean? So by adding a legend, it will make it more clear, make the graph more clear. So I could just write plt.legend. Uh, we also need to make sure we have a label. So label is equal to, for the P1, it's equal to gold. Label for P2 is equal to silver. And the label for P3 is equal to bronze. Okay, so now we have our legend. We see here that the blue represents the gold, uh, the orange represents silver, and we see that the green represents bronze. Okay, great. So it would also be nice to have labels on the X and Y axis, as well as adding a title. So uh, we really don't really know what these numbers represent. Um, well, for us, we do, but if we show this to someone else, they won't really understand. And we also want to add a label on the x-axis. And so we can write, I'm going to add some space here, and write plt.xlabel countries plt.ylabel, so this is going to be for the y-axis, metals, and plt.title Rio 2016 Summer Olympics Medal Table. And these are the top five. So, top five. So, if I run this, we see that we have our countries as our X label. In our Y label, it says medals. And for our title, it says Rio 2016 Summer Olympics Medal Table Top Five. We can also show the numbers on top of the bars using the bar label command. So if we take a look at Russia, for example, how many silvers do they have? Well, we will have to align it with our uh, cursor, and this will be a little more difficult to read. So we can add our bar labels to make that much easier to read by writing axe.bar label p1 x dot bar label p2 and x dot bar label p3 okay so now we see that it's pretty clear the number of um golds that the us has one the number of bronze that the gbr is one the number of silver that china is one because you have added these numbers above each bar and also we see that these colors, we really didn't add these colors anywhere. Nowhere in my code have I specified that this color is going to be blue, this color is going to be orange, and this color is going to be green. And that just means that these colors are given by default. And what if you don't like these colors and want to use your own colors? Well, you could totally do this. And here is how. Uh, we just have to add another parameter um, when we're creating this bar. So I'm going to create set this color of p1 equal to gold representing gold metal for p2 is equal to red for p3 color is equal to green i'm just going to set it as green 
so if I run this, now it is, uh, now we have see that I am able to change the colors, and gold is now gold, silver is now red, and bronze is now a green color. And of course you could change this color to whatever you'd like. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.